San Diego police are once again enforcing a ban to get tents off public sidewalks. It's an effort to get more homeless people, San Diegans, off the street and into shelters. This crackdown on tents had been in place before the start of the pandemic, and it's once again being enforced. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on how this enforcement is being carried out and the criticism it's generating. Richard? Well, that's right. Well, some homeless advocates question its effectiveness. Mayor Gloria says this renewed crackdown on tents is part of the city's comprehensive effort to address San Diego's homeless crisis. We have to do absolutely everything we can to get folks off the sidewalks, into shelter, and in into housing. Mayor Todd Gloria says the reinforcement of this policy, ordering unsheltered San Diegans to take down their tents during daylight hours, will increase cleanliness and hygiene, coming one week after the county declared homelessness a public health crisis. This is a compassionate and humane way to make sure that we address a crisis that not that long ago killed nearly 20 people in our city. He's referring to the hepatitis A outbreak in San Diego in 2017. This renewed push in which authorities are supposed to offer outreach and shelter services first before eventually ticketing repeat offenders who fail to take down their tents also aims to get more unsheltered people off the streets for good. It's not going to solve anything, just moving people from one sidewalk to another. Homeless advocate Michael McConnell questions the city's ability to offer shelter beds to all San Diegans who are currently camped out on the streets. There's only about one shelter bed for every two or three people out here. So the math doesn't add up. So that's, a, that's almost a false promise. I'm encouraged by any effort that will truly move people off the streets and into the assistance that they need. Deacon Jim Vargas of Father Joe's Villages says it's critical to meet those needs wherever they are. Since many on the street are resistant to the idea of congregate shelters, Father Joe's has been advocating for the formation of so-called safe villages with resources that could be set up in a parking lot or other vacant land. That again helps people to move encampments, move, move encampments off the streets and into a situation which helps not only the individuals in question, but helps the community at large. Deacon Jim also points out that a comprehensive strategy is needed that focuses on affordable housing beyond the shelter system. We need more shelter beds. We don't have enough shelter beds and ultimately we don't have enough housing. And because there are not enough shelter beds available, people will still be allowed to put up their tents during the nighttime. Now, Mayor Gloria says that his administration has increased shelter capacity by 38% over the last two years.